Alright guys, how's it going? This is Nicodemus, and today I'm going to show you the steps that I took, anyway, to take my unlocked TF700T and put it back to stock. I had a custom, I have a custom ROM on there, and I'm going to put it back to stock. So you go to supportazus.com, type in your model number, TF700T. Click on search, and you'll see that's the only option there is the Transformer Infinity. Android operating system, obviously. And then you go down to firmware. Choose which firmware you want to go back to. I'm just choosing the latest US firmware, which is 4.1.1. Download that to your hard drive. And once you have it on your hard drive, you need to open it up in WinRAR or WinZip and unzip it. Inside of it is another file. Put that file on your desktop. And then depending on whether you are using custom recovery or stock recovery, uh, if you are in stock recovery, you need to rename the file specifically to EP201 underscore. 768 SD or 768 underscore SD update. Um, in the thread, it's all capital letters, so I used all capital letters just to be safe. As you can see right there, EP201 underscore 768 underscore SD update. Now, if you have a custom recovery, you can name it whatever you want. Anything you want. I think I, I'll just name it new update. If you have a stock recovery, what you're going to do is put this on your micro SD card, put the micro SD card into your tablet, turn it off, and turn it back on booting into recovery, which is volume down, hold the power button for five seconds, recovery menu comes up, hit power up to go into recovery, and then it will install the new ROM and reboot. The only difference in the, uh, if you have a custom recovery, is you go into the recovery menu and you'll have to click on install and then choose your file. So that's the reason why the file has to be named specifically uh, with the stock recovery because it's looking for that specifically named file. So as soon as it's done uh, Transferring over to the micro SD card, I'll be able to put it into the tablet and go from there. Okay, I've got the micro SD updated. I put the update on the micro SD card, and I do have an adapter. Earlier, I didn't, I was using the E3 card reader. But my god, it takes forever when you use that. So, anyway. If you didn't know, it's right here on the side, your micro SD slot. And I thought I I thought I lost my micro SD card the first time I put one in here. It it goes in nice and flush. The first tablet I ever owned um was just a cheap Chinese tablet and the micro SD card would stick halfway out. And that's what ended up killing it. The tablet I still used for whatever, but the uh micro SD card slot broke so anyway couldn't use it anymore so here we are thank you for going off so fast okay we're gonna shut off the device and now like I said I'm unlocked so well, let me move this a little bit 
Okay, I'm unlocked, which means that I'm going to go into my custom recovery, click on install, and then choose the file. For those of you that are on stock, you will just go into the recovery and it will update for you because you have it named correctly. That's why you had to name it specifically. So, let's go into recovery and I probably just screwed it up. I don't think I did it right. No, nope, I did. Okay. Volume up to select recovery. Do do do. And I'm going to click on install. Uh, using external SD. And right here we have new update. Warning, this operation may install incompatible software and render your device unusable. Yeah, that would be bad, but we're not, we're going to assume that it's not incompatible. We're going to hope. And it is now flashing the file. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I would assume about... Well, I don't know, five, ten minutes, maybe, something like that. Right now, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but. Okay, it says it was successful. And I'm thinking, since I'm changing uh, ROMs, I probably should go ahead and wipe the cache, the Dalvik cache. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That goes pretty quick. And we're going to reboot. And we're... Okay. <laughs> says the device is unlocked. Signature match. Of course, if yours is not unlocked, you wouldn't have had to go through this step at all. You would have went into recovery um, by holding volume down and the power button. And when it came up to the recovery menu, or the icon, you just hit volume up and it would install for you. Since I was on the custom recovery, that's why I had to go through the menu system there and install it that way. So, we're about to find out if I now have an expensive brick or stock 4.1.1. Okay, it rebooted and now it says Android is upgrading, optimizing app 23 of 60. So it seems to be working. Okay, the tablet finished updating, rebooted, and it's. I didn't know this was going to happen, but automatically it's sitting there updating all of. Uh, it's updating everything. Um, and. My Wi-Fi, everything's still set up the same way. Let's see if I'm actually back on the stock ROM. Uh, that's interesting. Let's see what it shows. Well, it sure seems slow, I'll tell you that much. Gosh, I guess because it's updating like every app right now. Okay, Android 4.1.1, and yes, the kernel, if you'll see there, it's not my custom kernel anymore, so it definitely updated. We're back on stock 4.1.1, simple as that, um, and here, it's, the cool thing is it's back to stock, but yet, um, settings, uh, the Gmail, everything's still in there, so that worked out nice. So there you go. Uh, remember, if you have a stock recovery, you have to rename it. Um, and I got all this from a thread at xdadevelopers.com. It is from the all-in-one guide for the Asus TF700. And the thread is by Pretoriano80. So thanks a lot to him. I really appreciate 
all the work that these guys do to help us mod our tablets and phones and any other devices. So, like I said, <laughs> I made these videos backwards. This is a video of me going back to stock from the custom ROM. Uh, the next video that I put out will be the video um, of how to unlock your device and to install your custom recovery and custom ROM. Um, I already did that, but the video I was trying to make did not turn out right at all. So I'm going to have to redo that. So anyway, that's it. Thanks again. Please give me a like, subscribe, uh, tell your friends. I'd love to make this a big channel eventually. Not just game cheats, uh, things like this, news. As you can see here, I'm, I'm big into the PS3, I'm big into gaming, big Call of Duty player. Uh, like to mess around with customizing PS3 stuff. So, a little bit of everything like that. Anyway, check out the rest of the videos. Um, subscribe and like and tell everybody about me. I appreciate it. Have a good day.